and welcome back to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we are going to be taking a look at the Nike Kobe Pro Tro 6s in the all-star colorway. Let's get a quick look. And welcome back to another unboxing and review. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe as well as give this video a thumbs up at the end. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave me any comments or questions down below as well as hit that notification bell because we have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you guys to miss out on as well as check out those membership tiers. I don't know what you guys are waiting for, but you are missing out if you have not looked at our membership perks as well as our merch. We've got so much great merch uploaded to the site. So be be sure to check that out when you get a chance. All right, so as mentioned earlier, we are gonna be taking a look at the Nike Kobe Pro Tro 6s, the all-stars. I'm so excited to announce that this has been brought to you by none other than Culture Kings. So I just wanna thank Culture Kings so much. I'm so excited to be a part of the Culture Kings family. They actually gave me this lovely little note here. So just giving you guys some love and I'm so excited for this new partnership. And I just wanna let you guys know we are gonna be pumping out some fire. We got some great partnerships in the works, including Culture Kings, who is sponsoring this entire video. So you'll definitely wanna stick around for the styling section because oh boy, are we bringing in the heat, thanks to Culture Kings. They are insanely full of amazing, amazing looks that pair so well with the sneakers that we're gonna be discussing today. So excited to be talking about that later on. But first we're gonna start out with the overview of the shoes. Then we're gonna talk about the sizing, the fit. Maybe I'll bring a little guest appearance from some other Kobe 6s out just to compare. Then we're gonna talk about the styling and all of our amazing Culture King looks, as well as how these shoes are currently doing on the resale market if you were unable to cop them. So let's jump into this overview and talk about this beautiful, beautiful silhouette. So this is the Nike Kobe 6 Pro Tro All-Stars. The last time we saw this beautiful colorway was back in 2011. So this is basically paying tribute to that shoe that was launched back in the good old days. And obviously any Kobe shoe that comes out is just a memorabilia to have for the Mamba himself. So I am so excited to have these in hand to give you guys this overview of how these shoes look in person and boy, are these vibrant. So literally the Mamba effect is so real on these shoes. You can just feel it with the textures. I mean, it's just so great how great the quality is, is on these shoes. So that Mamba effect is wrapping around from the front of the toe box to the medial and lateral portion of the shoe in this gradient colorway. I love me a good gradient and I feel like the Kobe 6s um, for the Pro Tros just do such a great job with the gradient color scheme. So we've got that gradient starting from dark to light in the black and it just goes up into that deeper red into that lighter scale of that challenge red color scheme. When we work our way up into the mesh tongue, you'll see that we've got this dual colored lace system going on here and that red and black tone, which I think is really unique and different. It brings just more, I feel like, pizzazz to the shoe uh, and definitely works with that gradient aspect that's going on. When we work our way up to the tongue, let me tell you guys, I would like try to see what this holographic reads, getting it in the light perfectly, but I finally have figured it out. 
the Hologram Reads West. And I believe that is because it is the Western Conference that Kobe was in uh, with the LA Lakers. And as you guys will see, there's subtle details on the tip of the bottom of this lace system here. And it says 2011, again, which was the last time this shoe was released in this colorway. And then we've got LA on the other side, but it's just the little details that really make a shoe so special. And just that holographic effect that we're seeing here is so cool. I mean, it's different, it's unique, and definitely when it hits the light, it just gives, you know, a really polished look. So let's take a closer look at those details so you guys can see the holographic effect going on. All right, so now let's look at the medial and lateral sides of the shoes. We've got just a nice simplistic white swoosh that really popped off of that gradient coloring scheme going on underneath as the underlay. As we wrap around, we now have some more holographic effects going on into the heel. We've got this nice kind of glittery tone in the black polish look with Kobe's signature on the back there. And it's just nice to feel how different the textures are on this shoe. Shoe. It's pretty crazy. Then we've got that flexible air zoom turbo unit for basically elite responsiveness. It's just very fully equipped. These shoes are so comfortable. I honestly wish that my volleyball team had these to play in because this is like one of my favorite shoes to just play up some play some pickup volleyball in. Uh, they're just so versatile and so great with movement. When I look inside, we've got the West on the insole and I'm assuming the LA, yep, the LA on the insole on this side. So very cool. Again, those subtle details they're showing on the insoles as well. Moving down to the midsole, again, we've got that polished black look underneath where the Nike Zoom is. It's just a nice sleek white that wraps around. And then we're gonna finish it off with kind of a translucent with a hint of blue to it on the bottom for the outsole. So let's take a last and final look at the shoe. All right, so now let's get into sizing. So I was definitely good on sizing because I was able to cop, as you guys know earlier on, if you haven't seen this video yet, go back, check it out. But my Kobe 6 Pro Tros in the Grinch colorway. I was quite obsessed with this colorway. These are some of my favorite shoes to just really have a pop of color in my style. So I love wearing these. I definitely get a lot of looks because this is just like, wow, in your face, but I'm obsessed with them. So definitely went with a 7.5 on these and I would say stick true to size. I again have narrow high arch feet. So if you may have wider feet um, with no high arches, that can also 
uh, cause a difference in what shoe would work best for you size wise. But if you do have a similar foot to me, definitely stick true to size on this one. 7.5 translates to a woman's nine. All right, so now let's get to styling. I had so much fun styling these shoes. It's just like such a great red gradient that we've got going on these. So I had so much fun just putting together some nice looks and bringing out those colors. This styling section is brought to you by Culture King. So any of the items that you fall in love with, be sure to head down to my description box down below and click those links to find any of the items that I'm wearing in today's lookbook. Also, if you use my code SHADETV, you will get a pair of some free sneaker guards. And those are for those of you out there who hate having creases in your toe box region. So those will basically prevent that and you get one for free. So be sure to use my link down below. I'll also link it in the description box if you head onto their site and decide to purchase any of those items in the link. Uh, but let's get to it. Let's talk about the first look. So these were so much fun to literally pair with everything and anything. For the first look, I decided to wear the Anti-Order Woman's Future Leggings, and those leggings are very cool. They've got the Anti-Order uh, logo on the top of the legging portion with a nice drawstring. I paired that together with the Anti-Order Long Sleeve T-shirt, which I'm actually wearing right now, and you guys can see how cool the detailing is with the Anti-Order on this. The red just went so perfectly, so that's why I wanted to really bring that gradient red aspect to the top that I wore with that. So that was for the first one. Emotions, spilling like oil and coasting. There are people my mental, I'm pinning a pistol and shoot down the criticisms individually. I heard the voices that told us. Yeah, yeah. Throw dirt on my name and wish me the worst and scold us, yeah. Shot through the heart and pray on my downfall. But young T prevailed on my outlaw. Stand on top of the table like John Wall. Got the cross on my chest like Olympic gold. Rap it smooth on the floor like a jazz song. Witness greatness, look up and LeBron home. Remember next time for you doubt us. That only made me go John Jones. HGH, I got the shortcut. Got on my side, you got bad luck. Look at how they are. The second look I decided to wear another anti-order piece, which was a gray kind of cargo jacket. And that armored uh, bomber jacket just was so fitting for the colors in this. I feel like it took a backdrop to the red and really made this kind of the standout piece. I also paired that with some anti-order sweatpants. Those sweats were so cool just because it had some mesh lining on the outside of it. And I feel like with the textures of the mesh, it just really worked well with the textures of this shoe. They are doubt us, yeah, they doubt us, yeah. Underrated, underrated, we the underdogs, underestimated, yeah. Underrated, underrated, we the underdogs, underestimated, we the ones. Yeah, yeah, we the ones. We the ones. And final look, I decided to wear some Kari uh, cargo pants. Those cargo pants worked so well. It's kind of got a skinny fit to it. Um, but definitely, you guys know I love me some black and sometimes dark gray. I only work in black and sometimes very, very dark gray. And so those black cargo pants were the perfect fit. I then wore that with a nice denim jacket from N. Dot S and uh, that denim coat was just a nice oversized denim look, which I think really kind of paired well with the bright pops of red gradient textures in the shoe. Always out of order. I never had a chance though, but I would have wished on every single sad song. Never really knowing the moments I was grown and was sown in by the opponent. Don't kids like me say in season I Making me feel immunity as long as my community can sit like me. There's nothing more you need than you can be at peace for your life. And realize I was swallowing lies instead of my pride. And I had to give my life. So, you guys let me.
let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite item and be sure to click those links if you liked any of the items I showed you today. All this dirt on my skin. I just came here to win. I'm more than a man, I'm a monster. Somebody call a pastor, doctor. I got a success for imposters. So now I'm coming for the whole roster. It's not a game, why you playing with me? You could double back, lose track, try and hang with me. It must be in my veins. Something you can't tame, cause I break the chains. Can't control me. Excuse me, your honor, but you can't hold me no longer. Can't you feel the vibrations? I broke out and left traces. Go ahead, try to catch me if you can, man. You'll be looking all night, I'm a sand man. New York, London to Japan. I'ma show the whole world who I am. Boom, Major look, huh? Yeah, this one is for the books. All these chances I took still. Move straight on these rooks now Hold me up or hold me down uh, Have my back or hold my crown Either you with me or not But you better give all you got Cause I break the chains Can't control me I got the power I got the keys Cause I break the chains They try to hold me I'ma push back for a little quick accessories section all of those accessories are by raising hell so the butterfly chain necklace as well as the chain link earrings and the small hoops those are all by raising hell all right so now let's conclude with how these shoes are currently doing on the resale market so these retail at $190 and currently they're going between $200 and $400. Uh, the larger sizes are going above $300, uh, but definitely this is a beautiful shoe, highly recommend it. Uh, and be sure to check out Culture Kings for any new released shoes. They've got some great stuff on their site. All right, you guys, thanks so much again for tuning in to another one of my unboxings and reviews. If you're new to the channel, thanks so much for hopping in and viewing this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, hit that like as well as hit the notification bell because we have so much heat coming out. You guys are not gonna wanna miss out on it as well as leave me any comments or questions in the comment box down below and check out our membership perks, you guys. We've got so many amazing uh, tiers there, so be sure to take a look at that when you get a chance as as well as check out our merch store again thank you so much culture kings this video is sponsored and brought to you by them so i can't wait to discuss with all of you guys all of our future projects that are coming up here soon we've got so much in the making that i can't wait to share with you as well as our one year official anniversary is coming up here at the end of may so i can't wait to celebrate with you guys on a huge giveaway so stay tuned for details on that Again, thanks so much for tuning in to another one of my unboxings and reviews. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shay TV. We will see you on the next episode.